Hi, I'm going to show you how the Berry Shield plugin from LSoft works for HomeSeer. You can see in my previous video how you install the Yale Dolman. Uh, that's the lock that we're going to connect to uh, the Berry Shield plugin. So that means that you're able to control that lock from your HomeSeer setup using this plugin. Uh, this video should work in Norway, Denmark, and Sweden. I have tested it myself in Norway, so there I for sure know that this works. Uh, normally, when you have very sure, there's a monthly cost for the alarm. But if you use this plugin and the very sure smart lock module you're able to connect to very sure services without any monthly fees and that is completely okay with the uh, very sure they actually offer this solution together with yale dorman so that is uh, perfectly uh, good so i've just downloaded the um, the very sure plugin from the website you'll see a link in the this description below to my website where there is a how-to manual on how to make this. <clears throat> so when you have downloaded the plugin, you have to rename it uh, because this is a zip file, but it does not say that. So you just add .zip, press enter, and then it becomes a zip file. Then you want to extract that zip file to your uh, home seer install directory. In my case, this is C program files and home seer HS3. So I just select that folder, extract. When that is done, you want to restart home seer just to make sure that it initializes all the new config files and the plugin itself. So you start home here again. It will stop loading and hopefully it will notice that there is a new plugin. So you go to um, your home here web interface, go to plugins, manage, and here you will see that there is a new plugin called Elsa Very Show. So you enable that and it will initialize that plugin. When that is okay, you go to plugins and hopefully there should be a menu for this. So now you see that there's a menu, LSF version. Here you go to settings. And here you type in the email that you have uh, subscribed your very sure account with. You type in the password and you enable that it should uh, save the pin code for the smart lock and type that in Yale pin. The pin code is actually for for um, the module to be able to control the lock. So if you don't uh, put in this pin code you're not able to remotely lock or change settings in the lock so therefore you want to enter this pin code if you want to be able to control the lock what i have done actually is i have made a very sure user for my home seer that's because i want to determine if it's an actual user who have locked or unlocked the door or if it's home seer that have locked or unlocked the door. So I've made a special pin for home seer so I can see in the very sure lock who, who have done different things. So now you want to see if the device is actually here. So you go to home and here you select floor, select all, rooms, here you select all, then you go to device type. And here you should find very sure somewhere. So select very sure. And now you can see that it's only the devices 
full variable that is shown on your page now. So let's start from the top. The top device is um, the last uh, thing that happened. This is actually the last entry of the lock. So for example, if you have the whole very show alarm package, here it will tell you the last event of the whole alarm package. But we only have the Yale Dorman installed in, in the very show setup. So it will only show the last lock from, from the lock. Um, here I can see that it um, on Wednesday it had an automatically lock event. So that's what the recent thing happened with the lock. I would also see here, for example, if I did not have automatically locking on, who was the last person to enter uh, the house or how was the lock actually locked. So this is this is quite handy if you want to to check what what happened at the recent. So now I also have the very sure status. This is a um, status of the V box that come with the um, very sure smart uh, module. I can see here if it's online or offline. Uh, basically, that just means if it can connect to. Um, to the very sure API on their website. So it will actually go from the box to the very sure website, use the AP, API, sorry, to connect to uh, the plugin for Home Seer. So if that's okay, I know there's an internet connection. Then I have a later down, I have the lock itself. I can see right now that it's locked. I can use these buttons to uh, to lock or unlock it, uh, if I want to do that. I can also, um, the device down here, I can automatically lock or disable automatically locking. That means that I actually can uh, can do this in in a different time time frame. So if I know that this time of day, I need to enter the house quite uh, often and I don't want to uh, to use the uh, the um, chips or the pin code that follows the lock I just want to be able to open the door so here I can disable automatically locking or enable it again um, this means that I can make these events I can also if I know that a certain point of time I will get some guests to the house that need access. I can create an event for that day and that time and see that it will set the lock to automatically unlock for that time. I can also lock it afterwards uh, in an event. I can also just access this web interface and unlock and lock it from here. So that is a bit how the uh, very short sure plugin works. It's quite easy to work with. It uh, doesn't take a lot of configuration. Uh, you can see here that it was quite an easy, um, easy setup. So, um, so that's how that works. So thanks for watching.